everyone, welcome back to The Five Reasons. I am, of course, Matthew Oliver, your local mirror, wedding planner, helping you plan your fantastic day. Today's Five Reasons is about how to start planning your wedding and what items you need and what routes to go down when you start planning. Because a wedding is so important and there's so many different routes you can go down or rivers you can go down if you're talking about Pocahontas, but you can go down the wrong route easily. And you could be planning the wrong stuff to start with. If you follow these five reason tips, very easy, then you're going to start on the right path and it's going to help you be on the right path, you know, towards the actual wedding day. Because the planning part is just as fun as having the day itself. And there is a lot of, you know, coming togethers and of information and details and coordination you need to plan your day. It is not an easy ride, I'm not going to lie. but it is an absolute fun ride when you get it right. And that's why I enjoy my job so much. Because you're planning a wedding. Someone's biggest day of their lives. You're planning your own wedding. So it is very exciting stuff. And I just want to put you in the right direction. Obviously having a wedding planner helps massively. Because it helps you not get stressed. It will, you'll be relaxed. You are, you, I know people think a wedding planner takes over. We don't take over. We listen to what you need and what you want. So we don't just do it ourselves and like leave you on the front porch. You're a team member. You're part of us. We'll, we'll do exactly what you wish for and how t to fashionize your wedding. So we're not, you know, stuck up and pushy. We would just help you put you on the right path because, like I said, it's very difficult to plan a wedding. It's not easy. And that's for anything. For any, you know, any, any, if you've got a small wedding, a big wedding, it is still a lot of stress, it can happen, and like I said, you don't want to be stressed. So, the five reasons on what, how and what items you need to start planning your wedding are, number one, firstly, it's so important you speak to each other, like meaning you and your partner speak together and discuss what you want, because a lot of times you don't speak to your partner, a lot of you just book Think about what you really want and what, how you want to create it. But if you speak to a partner, you get an idea of what they want as well. And they'll say, you know, OK, I don't think that works, but I think this will work. Can we have this at the wedding? I really like this idea. I really like this design. But it's just an, a rough talk, a rough guide, a rough, you know, putting together of like, you know. And it's nice to have that as well, because sometimes the, the groom maybe or the bride is not even involved and the other takes over. It's nice to like involve each other because it's not your wedding. It's yours your wedding it's like your you know partner weddings anyway that's the first reason second reason set a rough budget guide and plan a budget like i said is so important you'd have a rough budget of what you're going to be spending and what you're going to spend it on having a plan also helps create what part you when you want to start booking things having a plan of what you want to create and how you want to create it it's both of those are really 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 important i know it can be quite boring and quite like oh I don't know how much to put in and I don't know how much I want to have because budgets are like... Blah, blah, blah. Always remember, though, it's a rough estimate. You could always go over or under. Um, obviously, having a wedding planner helps you like put, stay within that budget. And that's the third reason, booking a planner. Because, like I said, we are there to help you and we can help at the start. Even if it's just a rough talk, you don't have to book a planner. We can actually talk to you and sit down with you and put you in the right direction, which I think is just as important. You don't have to book us, but we can put you in the right direction and we can, like, you know, tell you how to start kind of about it because it's important. Fourth reason, look at inspiration. I know I've already said to you before, it's your wedding, no one else's, and you shouldn't really like copy other people because you want to create it with your personality. That is still true, that is still the case, but it's still good to get some inspiration. You can look at blogs, magazines, go to wedding fairs and see what the new trends are for the you know the next season and maybe even next year. So you get an idea. This can help you to understand what you shouldn't like, you know, what you don't actually want to put in your wedding. I don't, I don't like that colour. I don't want, you know, these items like bird cages for instance because it's all been done before I want different things by going to them you get to see like oh what is you know fashion in the wedding industry or you can obviously incorporate that into your wedding and like you know design around it and make it completely different so it's good to be inspired and look at inspiration 
Fifth and final reason is to favoritize what you want. Favoritizing is important as well because you can like have a list of what you want to create and how you want to create it and if you really, really need it. So you might really want a florist and you put that in your favoritized list so you know by the time it comes you know, to the actual planning and planning your wedding, then you're going to book a florist. So these are the five reasons on how to start planning the wedding. Always remember, don't go too fast. Take your time on each little bit of detail, especially if you've got loads of time on your hand. If it's a two years and if it's, your wedding is actually going to be in two years time, you've got so much time. And you can like, you know, prioritise what do you want to do when and where monthly. Have a monthly planner. Having a planner is important as well. Having a diary, having a folder, putting everything inside that folder so you know what is in there, what you've done already and how you've created it. Just don't go too quickly and don't like jump to the dress. Let's get the dress straight away or jump to like um, sending out invitations. Just do it slowly and in the, in your own time, then you'll go to the fun part. Or it was all fun, I think, you know, you just don't want to rush because it's so easy to be rushed. So that's the five reasons on how to start planning. So try and keep to these five, five reasons, obviously, there's more to it, but that might be another video. And that will be, you know, to be continued. That's what I'm going to say. To be continued. Ah. Oh, I can't do it. Goodbye.